Acton Leather Town Festival at, at its basis is the same as any other uh, community event or community street festival. It's just a gathering of people. Uh, it's an introduction for people who are maybe new to the area uh, for them to, to see, uh, experience a bit of our culture. For people who've lived here for, for many years, it's a chance to, to see friends and family that they wouldn't normally be seeing. So it's a very special day for our community and, uh, and we're really excited to have it, have it back. Certainly, and, and as you just mentioned there, for those that have been in the community for years, it's almost a sense of things are getting back to normal when you see festivals like the Leather Town coming back to in-person. Yeah, you know, even myself personally, I was just saying to someone uh, not that long ago, attending at some of our other local events, Milton Summerfest, uh, we've had a couple Rib Fests locally, Georgetown Rib Fest, uh, being able to attend those events, you don't realize how much you miss it until, until you're there. So, uh, and I think that's a sentiment that a lot of people can share. For sure. For this long standing, I think I read it's been, you know, around since the BIA, the inception of the BIA from since 1977, I believe it's been around a very long time. It has. So the uh, the branding changed there in the, the 90s. It's still about 30 years uh, under its current current name, Leather Town Festival, but it's uh, it's a real community tradition. Uh, we like to call it Holton Hills' largest one day event. Uh, no one's come uh, against us just yet. So uh, I'm, we're standing behind that. So let's talk about it. When is it and when can people come out? And also, what are some of the things that we can expect? Well, it's Sunday, uh, August 14th, this coming Sunday. It's 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. To, to 5 p.m. So, uh, you know, it's sort of a, a late morning, afternoon event. Uh, there's all sorts of things. We, we were calling it a vendor village. We have over 130 vendors. We're shutting down uh, Highway 7. Uh, that's what we do. It's Mill Street, right downtown Acton. Uh, it's one of the only events that is able that we do that in our community. So it's very special that way. Everything you could possibly imagine, just, uh, you know, food, uh, the kind of stuff you'd expect, all sorts of different vendors. Uh, we've got some, some produce. Uh, we, we run a farmer's market as well. So there's a bit of crossover with that. So uh, lots of stuff there. There's community activities. We've got Spider-Man. We've got the uh, Disney princesses. We've got three stages. They're fully stocked going from noon to four o'clock and just a bit before, a bit after. So uh, a lot of great local bands. Wicked Truth is a great local band. They're performing on Transistor Radio, another band. They've done some of the Rib Fest locally. So just uh, so many things. You really just have to come out and check it out and, and experience it. Definitely. And I guess it just uh, it maybe in as we wrap up here today, if you were to describe it in a word or even a sentence, how would you describe the Acton Leathertown Festival? Well, you know, our, our branding, our, our theme this year is reconnect. And, and that's what it's about. It's reconnecting. It's reconnecting with the community, with friends um, and, and just reconnecting to a, to a way of life that we enjoyed before the pandemic and are able to enjoy once again now.